everybody, it's Wendy. I am so excited to show you this today. So my blog post today is all about renewing and refreshing your card making or your craft. And sometimes I find that I run into like a roadblock when I'm creating or that I get bored and I look at my craft stuff and I just feel like I'm creating the same old thing over and over and over again. And so when that happens to me, sometimes what works to get out of that funk is to get something brand new that is totally different than anything you've ever done. So that's what I did and I made this awesome card and now probably on video, I'm going to hold it up really close, you may not be able to see what fun is in store for us. Do you see as I turn it? Look at the white. It is like textury and fun. So I'm going to show you what I did. I love this card. I think it just turned out absolutely gorgeous. And you can see all the kinds of pictures of it on my blog. So let's get started. I have a piece of watercolor cardstock here that I've already put down and masked off with blue painter's tape. I have my Hello Kitty water bucket that I've always got. I've taken some um, So Saffron and Calypso Coral reinkers and put them in here and added a little bit of water to them. I did about 10 drips per um, well. And I'm using my big flat brush, my number eight round brush to get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're just going to wet the entire canvas here of watercolor paper. And then I'm gonna get my other round brush wet and I'm gonna go ahead and start dripping color into my paper. And then I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna pick up some Calypso, coral, beautiful color, and then um, I can, I'm going to kind of move around some of the color where I want it. I'll pull some over here, pick up a little more ink. I really don't want any white showing. So I'm just adding, whoa, that was a lot. It dripped before I was ready for it to. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my yellow now, my So Saffron, and get some more saffron, and start adding it in here. There's no real science to this. Every single one will look different. Um, and that's cool. That's the fun part of watercoloring. Okay, so I'm done with my background and I'm just gonna heat set this now and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And now we are going to apply the next step. So I went to Michael's because I had a gift card from my birthday to Michael's and I picked up these cool modeling pastes. So these are really thick and they're kind of like, well, they're like a paste. They're, they're thick and they're like a clay kind of, they're super fun. So I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna use white. Let me zoom in there. And so I've just got the container open here and I have my spatula and then I also bought um, this brass template. So it's really cool, it was pretty inexpensive, and there was just this one stencil, and on the back it says that you can use it to emboss, stencil, paste, and burn. And so I'm doing paste, and so we'll just start by laying it down where I wanna get started. And I found that using um, two spatulas works best for this. So I'm just gonna scoop out some of the clay and I'm gonna hold on to my stencil because I don't want it to move after I start applying the paste. And this is definitely like a super fun, um, out of the box thing for me and definitely messy. <laughs> um, 
So it, it's a lot of fun. The only thing I don't like about this is I feel like it, you have to use a lot of paste um, to kind of achieve the look that you want. And so that's just kind of a bummer because I was hoping it would be like, I would have a bunch of this left and I'm probably going to like use up half the bottle. So I'm, I leave mine kind of cakey. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of cakey on top there. And I do, I'm doing that on purpose because I want it to have like a rough texture. If you wanted it like perfect, you could like scrape across there and get all the excess off. But I don't want to do that. I want it to be really bumpy and have lots of texture. So it does. I just made a mess because I flipped it over on the other side. And then um, I have found having a big thing of baby wipes on hand is really helpful with this because this is super messy. So let's, um, let's do another one. I'm going to go right here. And so see, I have a bunch of paste left on there. So I'm just going to push it off with this spatula and hold it down and go ahead and start moving it around. And as it sits, it um, dries, but it does take a long time to dry. However, I found that you can dry it with the heat tool. So that's good because then you can speed up the drying process. I wasn't sure if it would like change the texture or feel of it if I, if I dried it with the heat tool and it doesn't. Oh, there's a big old glob. We don't want that big of a glob happening. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here and put one. Just get more of the paste out. And you could definitely get like a chemical high. <laughs> From smelling this stuff it's got a smell to it this is so like super relaxing to me doing this I just could do this all day long there's something about I don't know something about using a stencil and putting this on here it just is like very 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 relaxing to me okay so let's do I'm going to get that big blob off. Oops, I just kind of messed up my paper. I'm going to see if I can get that off there. There we go. Okay, I better leave it alone or I'm going to make it worse. Um, and then more paste for this guy. Okay, so I'm done. Now I am going to clean up my mess and get this dry, and then I'll be back to finish the card with you. Okay, so I'm back, and we are going to finish up this card. It will not take us long at all. So I'm just going to use some of my adhesive here. And, whoops. I'm eyeballing kind of where I want this still isn't quite all the way dry of course I ran out of adhesive while we're in the middle of making a video because that's that's how it goes every time now I can never remember if I'm supposed to do this towards me or away from me oh things are falling off my shelves I think it's towards me it's towards me so let's do it towards me no I'm supposed to do it away from me I always mess this thing up the fast few okay so now I'm gonna lay this down it's not quite dry so that's why I didn't turn it over and put adhesive on the back I'm trying to be careful not to push down all my paste and make it flat because it's kind of the whole purpose is I want all this texture right okay so there's my gorgeous card front let me zoom back out a little now I'm gonna do some stamping I am using a piece of so saffron this says Happy Spring from the From My Garden stamp set. I'm going to stamp it. And then 
I'm going to punch it with the word window punch and I'm going to punch it kind of so there's like lots of room over on this side because we're going to put a button there. So I have my little dimensional piece already cut and ready to go. Sorry that's noisy, that's my dishwasher going right next to me. But that's life, right? I, I have to wash my dishes while I do videos for you. <laughs> Multitasking. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. And then I have one of our beautiful clear vintage buttons. And I'm just gonna string this through here and even it up. And then before I tie my bow, I am going to, this is a little tip I give my class attendees, is I put my gel dots on and I adhere my button down and then I tie because then it gives me an anchor to work from. So super simple tip, but it's a helpful one. Okay, and then trim the ends. And I have a beautiful spring card that anybody would be lucky to get. I hope that this refreshed and renewed you for your crafting and that you go make something beautiful today. Thanks for watching. See you later, alligator. Mm -hmm.